Salam, uh, peace. Hello, this is Roland Werner. I am here in this former magazine of powder underneath Belgrade with my friend Jovan Lagojevic, who has just explained this extraordinary sarcophagus to me. It is from the turn of the third to the fourth yes. century, and it is a Christian sarcophagus, which we can see clearly from this wonderful relief uh, depicting the life of Jonah. Jonah, of course, in the Old Testament, the book of Jonah. And if we look very closely, it's a little bit worn out by time, we see the boat, and the boat has uh, a cross-shaped sail here, a mast, and Jonah is being thrown naked into the sea. That he is naked shows that he has no honor. He has, is sinful. He has denied God and has denied God's command to him. So he is now being swallowed by a sea monster. And the sea, of course, in the Old Testament is seen as a symbol of chaos of the water that is threatening life, the sea, which is very dangerous. So there's the sea monster and the sea uh, swallowing Jonas. And then on the other side, we see Jesus as the good shepherd. I don't know whether you can see it, but is, this is a very typical uh, early Christian depiction of Jesus with a lamb or a sheep over his shoulder, which he carries home according to the parable, leaving 99. Uh, safe at home and going out for the one that is uh, that is lost. And in the middle is a tree which can be both the tree of life, uh, from which comes the life-giving water, which is the other symbol of water, symbolic meaning of water. But it can also be the tree under which Jonah rests. And there is a bird, and we don't know whether it's a dove, which could be related to the name, the Hebrew name Jonah, which means dove, or it could be also a peacock which reminds us of the phoenix, the symbol of uh, resurrection and eternal life in early Christian iconography. So this whole wonderful picture actually is a sermon so that people who would uh, be coming and maybe mourning the dead or they will visit uh, the sarcophagus, they will be reminded of the story of Jonah, which is also the story of our lives. We come from a dangerous situation uh, because of uh, our sin, we are thrown into the chaos, but on the other side there is hope, there is resurrection, which comes by Jesus Christ, who is the Good Shepherd and who is also the Tree of Life himself. So the Tree of Life and the Cross of Jesus, they are also in relation. And I think this is a wonderful place, a wonderful sermon here in Belgrade. Thank you very much uh, for Welcome. the way that you explained this to me and you uh, also uh, showed us this place.